pandas 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 welcome to a special weekend update of the s p 500 futures and what i think is going to happen to spy i'm by my money and as you guys have been following me you guys know that i trade the e-mini every single day at 9 15 eastern time scalping the e-mini and so this video is going to be a short one because typically when you see setups we have just seconds or just moments to think about how we're going to anticipate our next trade so we've seen this setup many many times on our stream and i could tell you that this is a five minute chart 2000 tick chart it doesn't matter what kind of chart it is because price action works on every time frame since the market is fractal and so when we look at this chart you can't tell what kind of chart it is but this is a daily chart but the price action will be the same what we see here right now is the market is actually in a downtrend i'm going to mark it quickly here but we have one two three touches of this downtrend you could even at this point perhaps extend the downtrend here but we'll keep it here for now because we can con also consider this an overshoot to the downside we might look for an overshoot to the upside unsure at the moment but from the setups and how many times we anticipate setups we can expect certain things to happen with the price action now what do we have here we had this failed second entry long a b c failed second entry long and that triggered the strong reversal which i told the tulahill pullback discord man if that breaks this candle's low watch out below that we're gonna have a fun time so that triggers our reversal and our downtrend so we can consider that we are downtrend until we no longer are the market does something interesting here because it tries to keep you on your toes but because we're very aware of these setups this is no surprise to us so what happens here is this we have a two-legged pullback on a downtrend. And when we see this, we see that we have a small gap between the moving average and the bottom of this candle. We call this a moving average gap. Now, oftentimes when we see this, a lot of traders probably thought that we're just going to reverse and just go up forever from here, making new all-time highs. But for those who have been trading price action long enough knows that this is considered a minor trend reversal. What do we expect for in a minor trend reversal? Well, what we expect is after my minor trend reversal, we look for a major trend reversal. And that can only really happen if we retest the lows here, creating some sort of double bottom. Most traders will not feel confident to reverse this market on a dime. Typically, they wait for a minor trend reversal, right, showing us weakness from the bears. And then after that, wait for the major trend reversal, knowing that, hey, there was some strength in the bulls here. Now this next reversal, the bulls are going to come even stronger, looking for some sort of double bottom, lower double bottom, higher double bottom. But typically what we wait for is two legs down to the downside, making new lows. And so this is what we expect in price action. Now, the market's keeping us on our toes because of the candle that was printed on Friday. This could turn to a fail second entry short. So when you have a two-legged pullback, this is called the second entry, right? After two pullbacks, the next entry is called the second entry, right? This is the first pullback, first entry, second pullback. And after the second pullback, what we call that reversal is the second entry. And we expect a new low from that entry. But let's say that the market actually reverses here. And then we have a failed second entry short. So what the market ends up doing after this is typically continue the original trend which is a downtrend and have a continuation after to like a pullback but sometimes we'll fail in these areas because in trading nothing's 100 percent and we may fail here for me if i saw this on a 2000 tick chart i would not be looking for a long trade here i would still be looking for a short trade and so even if we do break above friday's high which will create the fail second entry short I would actually wait for that short or that long, that trap, what we call a trap, to fail and reverse the market to make a new low because I'm still expecting a new low here of some sorts. And so if that happens, if we get a trap here, I would not be trading that reversal. I'll be trading a fail trap here. And it's a little bit confusing and that's what the market tries to do, confuse investors, traders, institutions 
what they try to do is, is try to trick us so they're gonna make you think we're gonna go up but really we're still looking for that new low uh, because of the price action this is what i would anticipate every single day i will see this kind of setup and this is what i wait for and even if this does go up without us that still doesn't mean that we missed a good trade in my opinion we skipped out on a very low probable trade in my opinion so that's it for my weekend update hope that's been helpful for you if it's been helpful for you make sure you scalp that like button subscribe and also join us every single day at 9 15 a.m eastern time to trade the e-mini as always happy trading god bless bye